So today, I'll be showing you how to add custom notification sounds on your Samsung Galaxy S25 or S25 Ultra. So the first thing you have to do is get that sound onto the phone somewhere in my files, okay? That's the most important thing. So just get the uh, notification sound. Of course, it's an audio file, so it's going to be mostly in MP3 format or some other kind of uh, audio file format. So you can download this, you can have someone send it to you, you can uh, get it from email, wherever you get it, that's not my concern. I'm not trying to get any problems with copyrights here. So I won't show you where to get your sound, but just get the sound onto the device memory uh, of your Samsung Galaxy S25. So now what you want to do is go to my files. So this is the my files homepage. Now my sound, the notification sound I want to use is in the downloads folder. So I'm just going to go to the downloads folder and find it there. Okay. So this is it. What you want to do is long press on that sound and then copy. And once you copy, it's going to open up this pop-up, make sure internal storage is selected. And then under internal storage, scroll and find ringtones or rather not ringtones, find the notifications folder. So open that folder and then you want to paste by selecting copy here. And that file should now be inside the notifications folder of your phone. So once you copy that file there, now when you go and try to change the notification sound by going into settings and then sounds and vibration and then notification sound if you scroll down, you should see under the custom category, we should have our notification sound here available. Okay, so it's here under the custom category. And so you can select it and set it as the notification sound for whatever you want to use it for. It could be for the entire phone, it could be for eSIM 1 or for SIM 2, doesn't really matter. That is how you add custom notification sounds to your Samsung Galaxy S25 or S25 Ultra. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you found this useful, and also if you have any comments or questions, talk to us down in the comment section and we will get back to you there or in the next one. Good luck.